Welcome to another session of whiteboard videos. Today we'll talk about how you need human involvement to improve your AI solution. This is an important consideration for business leaders because this can have a huge impact on adoption and ROI. Last month, there was this robotics company that launched a bot that could do COVID testing. It operates completely autonomously and performs a nasal swab. It inserts a 15 centimeter long swab into your nose, wiggles it around for 15 seconds, takes it out and repeats on the other side. So now a question for you, how many of you would be comfortable getting this test done by this robot? Not many of you, I suppose. So this raises the question, when you have a good technology solution, how do you make it acceptable to the users? This has a lot of parallels in the enterprise world. You might have the best machine learning solution in manufacturing and in customer relationship management. So how do you bring it in and make it acceptable and easy to adopt by your users and consumers? First, you should consider this human machine continuum. All the jobs fall somewhere along here. There are jobs which completely need humans because it needs empathy and trust. And at the other extreme, there are jobs which machines are better than at than humans. So for example, translating text or predicting failures. And there are several jobs which fall somewhere in between. Two questions I often get from CIOs. If I have a near perfect algorithm, do I need to design human involvement for it? And if I have machines which fall in here, do I even bother using it or completely give it to humans? My answer is by combining the forces of humans and machines, you can get huge benefits. There are five specific ones I would like to talk about. Number one is better business value. When you combine algorithms and humans, you're getting the best of both scenarios, wherever each of them is good at, and your net accuracy, ROI, can shoot up. So it leads to a more effective solution. I talk more about this in one of my earlier videos. Stability. There are situations where the model is trained for, and there are several more where it has not seen any data for. A perfect example is the pandemic. With COVID, the world changed and all the algorithms started failing because they didn't have historical data. So organizations which built humans into the loop were able to recover from this issue faster. So that's why you need to plan for those unforeseen scenarios and bring in stability for the users. Number three is accountability. AI will make mistakes, even in known scenarios. If a self-driving car kills a pedestrian, is the car maker responsible, the car driver, or is it going to be the pedestrian's responsibility? So these are dilemmas which you should think about. And when you design humans into the solution and define the risks and rewards, you can plan for it better. Bias is a thorny issue for algorithms. Our world is imperfect. And when you have algorithms learning from that data, they are bound to have some imperfections, bias. And no amount of model engineering and transparency can improve machines beyond a certain level. You need to inject human bias to fight the learned bias of machines. I talk more about this in one of my recent articles. Number five is trust. For the COVID testing kind of scenario, you definitely need some human involvement to bring in understanding and empathy so that the users are comfortable. And there are several jobs like that within the enterprise, even in the future, you would need humans for. So these are the five benefits that you always get, irrespective of whether your job falls in here or here. So hope you found this session useful. Do share your comments. The links I talked about, I will mention in the comments below. Thank you.